Hey, Sterla here with quick tips for creating engaging websites without coding in Vev. Today I'm going to show you how I created this animated hero with blur text effects for a fictional editorial on AI deepfakes. Okay, let's start with the first scene where our title text appears and blurs. For that glitching background, I select a video background and I upload a pre-made video. Add an overlay to it change it to black and set it to 90. Now I can start adding the text boxes and typing in the words. I first do one text box and then I duplicate it to save some time. Now for the animation part. Mark the first text box, add animation, then load animation. For this we are using a fade in animation. Adjust the parameters and then copy the animation presets. Now mark the other text boxes and paste in the animation presets. Remember to change the delay on each text box so they will appear one after the other. To make the blur, we need to make a frame, set the opacity to zero and apply a background blur effect. As before, I'll add a fade in animation to it and then add a delay to make it fade in after the words are done loading. Copy the blur frame and place the second frame over the second word. Now let's split the title apart to reveal the creepy image. First, I'll group all the elements on the top line. Mark all the elements and right click and then group. Apply an animation to the grouped frame and select the move vertical preset. I'll give them a negative pixel destination value as I want them to move upwards. Set the delay to get the timing right. I'll do the same for the second line of elements, giving them a positive pixel value so they move down. I'll then add an image element to the center of the canvas and apply a delayed fade in on load animation so it fades into view once the text has finished loading. And that's it, we created a captivating and pretty creepy animated article hero without touching any code. Be sure to check out my other hero section videos for more web design tips.